I need your help. Join 92 million Americans. Be a volunteer. Call 244-3063 today. Is an inner city health care facility still on the ropes? We'll have an update report tonight. The following program is an NBC special presentation. This is NBC Radio. Johnny Carson, Milton Berle, and Bob Hope, this Don season. Johnson, and Philip Michael Thomas. Bert what Parks. about Nell Carter and Tom Brokaw? And I George heard Robel. Raymond Burr and Angie Virginia Dickinson Barbara and Michael Conrad. J. Fox are on. Barbara, Barbara Eaton and Harry They've Anderson. Got Pat I heard. Sushi. They've got Beatrice Arthur Dancing. Sabrina Lamont. Michael Lando, Gary Lewis, and Dinah Shore. Steve Allen. Of course, all those stars are going to be here. It's NBC's 60th anniversary. Everybody's going to be here. It's why I'm taking the tour. Thank you. Come on. Good morning. It's a nice day for a tour. Yeah. Keisha, would you stop with the nuts? After we've had the tour and after we've seen all the sights, then we'll grab some food. Come on, Keisha, put the bag of nuts away. You're gonna spoil your lunch. Would you like me to hold the nuts for you? No, I'm saving them for the birds upstairs. Birds? You never said anything about birds? You know how I feel about birds? Calm yourself, madam. Honey. There are no birds on the eighth floor. She thinks we're going to see the peacocks once we get upstairs. Peacocks? Yeah. She thinks there are peacocks. Because this is NBC. <laughs> says good night.
Paul with Rudy Valley as MC. Commercials by Ed Herlihy was that in 1943. Gee. Viewers all chose to look at your show of shows where Sid and Emma G did fight. Till Saturday became their night. And it was live in black and white. Right. Mr. Tuscanini, his bad tongue would twirl. From NBC, it's culture and then Milton Berle. All those Hallmark classics help drama survive. And I'll go Holly Dewey. Celebration with the NBC family of stars Steve Allen, Fran Allison, Harry Anderson, B. Arthur, Gene Barry, Milton Burrow, Tempest Bledsoe, Tom Brokaw. Pierce Brosnan, Raymond Burr, Red Buttons, Sid Caesar, McDonald Carey, Johnny Carson, Nell Carter, Connie Chung, Dick Clark, Robert Conrad, Robert Culp, Ted Danson, Don DeFore, Angie Dickinson, Hugh Downs, Barbara Eden, Ralph Edwards, Nanette Febre, Kim Fields, Michael J. Fox, Arlene Francis, Soleil Moon Fry, Estelle Getty, Marla Gibbs, Melissa Gilbert, George Goble, Lauren Green, 
Deirdre Hall, Valerie Harper, Julie Harris, David Hasselhoff, Ed Hurley, Bob Hope, Don Johnson, Perry King, Jack Klugman, Hope Lang, Sabrina LaBeouf, Jerry Lester, Cherry Lewis, and Lamb Chop, Al Linden, Norman Lloyd, Shelley Long, Gloria Loring, Peter Marshall, Dick Martin, Rue McClanahan, Ed McMahon, Mitch Miller, Edwin Newman, Merlin Olson, Jack Parr, Patty Page, Bert Parks, George Papard, Rhea Perlman, Keisha Knight Pulliam, Sarah Purcell, Charlotte Ray, John Ratzenberger, Jean Rayburn, Martha Ray, Carl Reiner, Alfonso Ribeiro, Joan Rivers, Doris Roberts, Dan Rowan, Pat Sajak, Ricky Schroeder, Doc Severinsen, Dinah Shore, Buffalo Bob Smith and Howdy Doody, Robert Stack, Craig Stevens, Mary Stewart, Philip Michael Thomas, Daniel J. Travati, Robert Vaughn, Malcolm Jamal Warner, Betty White, Jonathan Winters, Jane Wyatt, and Robert Young. How do you know you wouldn't like living with somebody? Because I lived with someone for three years when I was married. Yeah, but not with me. Michael loves Gretchen. Smell my shirt. Thanks, I'm not into that. He also loves Faith. How many times a day does she make love? How many times a day? And Elliot loves everyone he can get his hands on. Give me your lips. <laughs> you can say that again, Jackson. Sweet Liberty. Written and directed by Alan Alda. <laughs> Rated PG. Starts Wednesday in select areas. Chapter 5 is entitled, The Origins of Flight. I need a vacation, vacation. like nobody's business. This summer, you need the airline with low fares to more places. The biggest bargain airline in the land, United. I've got a vacation. And so, following the turmoil of the 30s, the 80s, I'm not just flying. I'm flying a vacation in the friendly skies. It's a It's exciting being a new mother, but now I have more decisions to make for my family. One choice I've already made is our pain reliever. It's Tylenol. The first time I was given Tylenol was in the hospital. They gave it to me after my son was born. Tylenol really took care of the pain, so I wasn't surprised to find out it's the pain reliever hospitals use most. If hospitals choose Tylenol, I'm sure it's the right choice for my family. Trust Tylenol, the pain reliever hospitals use most. Get your jammies on and I'll be up to kiss you goodnight. Kids, some days you love them and others, well, this was a good day. So I took them to Wendy's for their favorite treat. And with the special prize, I got a treat too. The special treat? Wendy's Kids Meal, now only 99 cents. A kid's hamburger, golden fries, and a choice of delicious frosty or soft drink, all in a special box with a prize, and now only 99 cents. Thanks, Wendy's. Wendy's Kids Meal, now only 99 cents with each adult purchase. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for watching NBC this year. Welcome to NBC, folks. We'll show you how NBC works, and we'll show you how your favorite television programs get on the air and tell you a little bit about how we got to this moment. We're now taking you towards one of the most famous television studios in New York, Studio 8H. Hey, isn't this what they do Saturday Night Live? Right you are, Sonny. And a lot more besides. Way back in the 30s, 8H was about the best-known musical studio around because the world-famous maestro Arturo Toscanini used to broadcast from here with the NBC Symphony Orchestra every Saturday night. And Americans were glued to the radio listening for 13 years. And then I remember some of the truly wonderful dramatic shows that came from this studio. Sure, way back when television was just getting started, there was Philco Television Playhouse and the Kraft Television Theater. Both from these studios. Oh, and all those fabulous young actors. Not yet stars, but you just knew they were going to be. You were watching me? And so were most of the other girls. Some men are like that. They compel attention. I didn't even see you until just a few minutes ago. And I couldn't wait to be introduced. Some men are like that. What are you going to do now that you're out of the Navy? What is there to do? Go into business, I expect. Stocks and bonds? Uh-huh. There's a place in my Uncle Robert's firm, Paula. Will you be very successful? Well, I expect so. And rich? I'm rich already. So am I. That's nice, isn't it? I mean... It's nice. Next stop, Lahar. Like to be on board? Oh, I am on board, man. I'm promenading the deck and digging all that fancy jive like mad. Oh, it's crazy. Oh, it's wild. Uh, now I'm on the top deck. I'm 600 miles out to sea. But I'm smelling that air, man. Ooh, that's crazy. You smell it, man? Smell like garbage in the river. <laughs> you would, you know? That's why I smell, Pete. Why do you always have to look down, man? Why don't you look up? It's beautiful up there. You're ten feet tall, so use it to look up. Six one. The Craft Television Tip. Thank you. Thank you very much for everything. Yes, thank you. What do you say? They want me to be a uh, soloist with the New York Philharmonic yeah. in November. Well, I'm well, Ralph Crane. I'm going to be soloist well, with the New York Philharmonic. Well, darling, I, I, I don't know what well, dear, don't cry. You can't help it. We made it. We finally made it. Look at it now. Wait. You, you could walk from one end to the other in three minutes. Dinky town, dinky street. <laughs> you know, you're just living by on the front porch. Ice cream socials, and weddings, and a general store. Well, that, that's it. But I love it. Do you blame this unhappy house you've made on me? You're wrong, Pato. It was a happy house. Am I mad? Am I out of my mind to be listening to my own son, a half-man, talking to me like this? Remember who made me a half-man. I'm my father's son. Remember that, Pato. This house was all right. And I'm telling you now to leave it as it was, and if you don't like it, you can leave it to itself. Uh, would you like a little drink before? Hey, you're new here, aren't you? Me? Oh, no. No, I'm here nine years. Yeah, he's new. Yeah. I thought I didn't recognize you. Hold up there. Oh, yes, sir. How much you lose, son? Forty dollars, wasn't it? Well, y yes, it was, sir. But it was a mistake. No, sir. I, I saw them eagles fly. It was a disaster, but it weren't no mistake. No, the mistake was mine. I, I shouldn't have bet against a woman. Well, there, there weren't no women there. Yes, there were. You, uh, you weren't betting that queen for yourself. You said that was uh, wedding money. Now, if I, I did that, it'd be just like my dealing against a woman. My luck would go sour inside a week. So you just better take it back, huh? No, sir, I lost a fair thanks. Thank you. And a piece of advice with it. Don't ever gamble again. Where are you from? 
Sandy Bar, I just come over the mountain. You just ride back to Sandy Bar and get yourself married. Natural course of things, you'll probably have children, so you pass my advice on to them, too. Because uh, it's a scientific possibility that your, uh, your horrifying innocence just may be hereditary. Well, I don't know which I need most, the money or the advice. I, I reckon I'll just take them both. I sure do thank you, mister. I ain't gonna forget this. Young George C. Scott and an even younger J.R. Did you see that last show? I did. We'd just gotten our television set. Cheese was a big item in our family, and uh, my mom let me stay up. Well, <laughs> did you realize that they did the commercials in the studio live in those days? You're kidding. Here's a gentleman who can tell you all about it. He was the announcer for those commercials, and 39 years later, still is, Ed Herlihy. He's right. We did those commercials live for 25 years. Let me tell you, they drove the actors crazy. There they were, playing a love scene, or right in the middle of some dramatic moment, and the dietician would start to heat up the cheese. Well, that great smell would, would kind of just waft across the studio, and the, the cameraman would be dollying in for a close-up, and the actors would be emoting, and there she'd be, whipping up the eggs and adding the lemon juice and pouring it over the broccoli or whatever. <laughs> oh, it was wonderful. Those early days of live television were great fun. I miss it. But what about Saturday Night Live? You grown-ups are always talking about the good old days when NBC does great live television right here every Saturday night. I remember some of those wild programs. It's Saturday Night Live! Live from New York, it's Saturday night! <laughs> okay, we're good to lose. Okay, let's get together for a team prayer. Get down in one minute. <laughs> Dear Lord, please give us the zaniness and courage these men need to make America laugh. Because America is the funniest nation in the world. Hello, I'm Baba Wawa. And welcome to Baba Wawa at Wodge. We are two wild and crazy guys. The women always leave me, man. I don't mind them leaving, but they tell you why. Good evening, I'm Chevy Chase, and you're not. Oh, perfect! Oh, Joe, I wish I'd, I'd put on some sort of an oven mitt at this point. Oh, 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 that's a pain that's gonna linger, there's no question about that. But I don't care! Okay, baby, baby, pushing round your hat. Oh. Let me let you in on a little secret. Once I, Rosanna Rosanna Dana, had a little wart on my back. It was like this bubble thing round and it was hard as a rock. I thought that I was gonna die. Oh, you're crazy! You're crazy! Oh, oh, no. oh, no. oh, no. oh, no. oh no. I am Joan Rivers. I am Joan Rivers. You are not Joan Rivers. I am Joan Rivers. If you are Joan Rivers, you are Joan Rivers on steroids. Oh, Excuse me! Samurai Delicatessen. Hey, I wanted to do a cheer for New York uh, while I'm here. You got the greatest culture, symphonies and plays. Also shopping, eating, meeting places and subways. Take pride in yourself, you could be Philadelphia. All right, Della, come on, let's make some fast money. Come on down here. Well, now I'm going to ask you five questions a piece and a hundred, a hundred dollars a piece, and if you answer them all in 15 seconds, okay? Name a famous explorer. Zytron the insistent. <laughs> the biggest holiday of the year. The moons of Mipsar. <laughs> a place you keep your valuables. In a Muldroth ion field. <laughs> a mode of transportation. The foam shoe. <laughs> Something you eat with eggs. Fiberglass. <laughs> okay, well done. Soviet Jewry. The editorial was about jewelry, not jewelry. Oh, well, that's very important. Yes. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> well, Mr. President, did the subject of horses come up at dinner? <laughs> well, I, um... Uh... Um, 
No, it didn't. I am dark and you are light. You are blind as a bat. And I have sight. Side by side, you are my amigo. Negro, let's not fight. You are white. You are black. And who cares? So that's all for now, my friends. I'm so glad to see you. Remember, you look marvelous. And for me, Fernando, I would rather look good than to feel good. Good night, my darlings. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Has anybody seen Keisha? I was watching Saturday Night Live. Maybe she wandered off. Whoa, the whole tour is gone. Well, what's the next stop? Well, I hope it's the costume department, because I want to see that, and I want to see makeup. Let's go look for her, and let's us stick together so that we don't get separated. Along the southern tier of western New York, against the foothills of the Allegheny Mountains, Dairyland create a unique, smooth, textured cheese with a brisk sharpness. Stofus calls it Van Zwanenberg cheddar. Rich and firm, this natural cheese is aged for almost a year, until its cheddary goodness fairly snaps with flavor. Now you know one of the reasons why Stofus macaroni and cheese is as good as can be. At Seiko, great technology inspires great design. Steel rods and gleaming hinges for a supple bracelet watch. Gold tone on gray tone for the definitive strap watch. A second hand on her elegant dress watch. Water resistant too, very today. One diamond and a rich two-tone setting, very tonight. Man invented time. Seiko perfected it. When I want a showstopper, a sensational salad dressing mixed up fresh with a special blend of herbs and spices, I say, the envelope, please. For special effects, the Italian dressing I can make creamy. Mm. With sour cream, mayonnaise, or even yogurt, I say, the envelope, please. With good seasoned salad dressing mix, it's my show, because all I say is, the envelope, please. Good seasons, just think what you can do with it. Another sizzling summer's coming. It's time to stock up on the cool, Ooh. crisp ah. taste of Budweiser and Bud Light. So pick a pair of six packs, 12 packs, or even cases, and look for our special pick a pair offer wherever you see this display. Then send for a fun in the sun umbrella for two. Pick a pair of six packs, Bud, Bud. Stay tuned for Burl, Hope, The Tonight Show with Steve Allen, Jack Parr, and Johnny Carson. And today, from Dave Garraway to Polly and Gumbel. Tuesday on an all-new A-Team, the guys go Rambo back to Vietnam. I can't believe it. And they'll take on an army to clear their names. Tough way to prove we're innocent. Then on an all-new Hunter, Dee Dee hits the streets to bag a lady killer. We definitely have a psycho on her hands. And a desperate reporter holds the key. There's a like a screwball in there. Tuesday. Could Taco Bell talk you into leaving your burger? No way. Even with a chance to win a trip to Tahiti? Or bicycle? Or even a hang glider in our 50 ways to leave your burger game? How do you play? Just hurry over to Taco Bell for some of your favorite food. While you're there, pull the sticker and you could win instantly. Or collect them to win one of 50 great prizes. Even that trip. To Tahiti, where there are no burgers. Play the 50 ways to leave your burger game. Only at Taco Bell. Wherever you find champion race driver Bobby Rahal, you find high-performance equipment here and here, where the Rahals designed their home to include the top performance and efficiency of natural gas. They enjoy the warmth of gas heat, the perfect results of gas cooking, and the economy and reliability of a gas water heater. 
The Rahos are sure they have a real winner with natural gas. Is an inner city health care facility still on the ropes? We'll have an update report tonight. In 1939, NBC took its television broadcasting equipment and one camera to Baker Field to watch the home team, Columbia University, play a baseball doubleheader with Princeton. The second game of the doubleheader was the first live television broadcast of a sporting event. From what we're told, the pictures were pretty vague and a little hard to follow. Oh, and for the record, Princeton won two to one. Right in here in the mini control room, just sit anywhere, Okay, now you're our weather volunteer? Yes. Now, I will program camera one not to accept green. Camera two is showing the weather map, and I'll place it over you and the green chroma key. Now, where are you from? Chicago. Okay, point to where you think Chicago is. There. <laughs> you see, you have to look at the other monitor to see the map, and then point your finger where you think it is. I can't do this. So you see how hard it is to be a weatherman. Now, tell me what you see. Wow, it's the Johnny Carson show. How do you know that? Aren't you in bed by the time that show is on? I get to watch on Friday nights. We watch it at college all the time. Where's Johnny Carson? Is he coming out? No, little girl. The Johnny Carson show is done in Los Angeles on NBC's big lot in Burbank. But Carson did do the show in New York for a long time. Yes, but of course, he wasn't the first one to do it. That honor goes to someone you may all know, Steve Allen. Now, here's the very first Tonight Show. From New York City, the National Broadcasting Company presents Tonight, starring Steve Allen. <laughs> this is uh, kind of a mild little show. I don't expect you to say, boy, what a program. You know, just look at it and... Uh, you know, decide in about a week what you think about it. It'll, you know, it's not going to... It's not a spectacular. It's, uh... <laughs> it's going to be kind of a monotonous, I think. <laughs> uh, especially selected this particular theater. This is a New York theater called the Hudson, and we especially selected this for this very late show because this theater's, uh... Oh, I think it sleeps about 800 people. <laughs> National Broadcasting Company and its affiliated stations from coast to coast present the new Tonight, starring Jack Parr. And it's all live from New York. You know, this is an hour and 45 minutes a night, and uh, I can't figure it out, really. It's a telethon, but I can't figure who it's for. Uh, my brother was in a caravan and a parade down the middle of a big city and by mistake the driver turned off went through the crowd and then had to circle the block to try and tried then to come back into the the crowd and into the uh, way of march and a policeman stopped stopped and put up his hand and said you can't go any further and jack got up and said but i'm senator kennedy i belong in the parade and he said i don't care if you're jack parr you're not going to get in there may i ask you so that I don't look too naive. A tough question right off the bat? And whether I'm a Democrat or Republican. <laughs> We're spending more money for this orchestra than we ever spent in our life. And Jose has made a concerto arrangement of this hinky-dinky song that you wrote. <laughs> <laughs> Will you play it for us? Don't you play for Would you like me to play? Yeah, that would well, be a beautiful combination. All right. All right. Can play. All right. All right. Uh, move that way a little bit. You're what? standing in front of my candle. <laughs>
This is the legend of Cassius Clay, the most beautiful fighter in the world today. From New York, The Tonight Show, starring Johnny Carson. On my 10th anniversary, you would have been there, but you weren't even born. <laughs> no, I just, you know, I talk about my age. Sure, I do. You like my hair? Yeah, very You nice. want some? rather controversial. It's, it, it's something new that... Uh, mm, you... But after, like, three years of seeing me, you'd think that people were a bit used to me by now, you know? Yeah. I mean, in a country that has Liberace, I'm hardly revolutionary, am I? You know? Yeah, <laughs> that's true. Yeah. the greatest advocacy of marriage, are you? I don't believe in it, no. Tell me why. Uh, because I don't believe in divorce. That's the... That's <laughs> it's that simple. Your, your main control is in the legs, because yes. if the bird flies... <laughs> I don't think he's going to go very far, but if you'll hold this right there and your hand right hold there. What? Hold what? Just hold this thing right there. Your hand here, he'll be all right. Uh -huh. And I'll be right back in just a second. <laughs> Jim! 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 Sis Boom Ba. Sis Boom Ba. <laughs> Describe the sound made when a sheep explodes. <laughs> Art Fern here today with today's fabulous feature film find. Dean Jones, Buck Jones, Louis Stone, Fran Chatone, Tony Bennett, Joan Bennett, Max Sennett, and starring Morris, the Gentile cat, <laughs> in Tarzan, brings home a social disease. If we have birth control, where are all the people going to come from to fight the population explosion? <laughs> I was just making conversation. Well, no, don't. No need to get hostile. I can get hostile if I want to. I'm old. You don't have to reiterate everything I say. I said, I believe in old people's rights. And you said, you believe in old people's rights. They're not dumb out there. We don't... I like that. Yeah, that was fun. I wish we could see Mr. Carson. Oh. <laughs> a wine can be. Honey. Honey. 
I've been thinking. Uh-oh. Let's get in a man a refrigerator. And a manna? Fine. Then let's fill it with caviar, invite over 60 of our dearest friends, and drink champagne out of our shoes. A oh, manna. Oh, I did a lot of comparing, and a manna isn't really any more expensive than the one you were talking about. Besides, it'll last us for eons. Okay, you win. Great. Can we still have the party? When you know exactly what you want, a manna. Introducing Chilada. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Tostitos brand has a new flavor. Isn't that sweet? No, zesty, new chilada. I thought you liked some. How did you know? I thought you liked exciting Mexican seasonings on a crispy chip. We do think alike. Try them. If you insist. New chilada flavor, pepper, spices, and a touch of sour cream. You like this new flavor, Fester? Mm, it's very tasty. Wednesday on Highway to Heaven, a two-hour movie. Two young outcasts fall in love. But can Jonathan stop a murderous mistake? For God's sake, don't run! Wednesday. They don't make them like that anymore, kid. <laughs> I thought I recognized you. Really? From the elevator. <laughs> yeah, from the elevator, that's right. <laughs> You work here, don't you? Yeah, I do, from time to time. In fact, I started my television show from here in 1948. A little bit before you were born. Started right from this studio behind me, 6B. 38 years ago, the first TV show from this studio, 6B, was the Texaco Star Theater. Would you like to see the studio? Come on, sure. you? Come on, come on. Okay. We'll walk in there, I'll show you something. Okay. We work from Maine to Mexico. There's nothing like this Texaco of ours. Now, ladies and gentlemen, introducing America's number one television star, the man who has captured America's heart, Milton Berg. But it is, it is really a very, everybody looks, we have a wonderful show prepared for you, but it won't be ready until next week, and I'm... <laughs> You're wonderful. You have wonderful tonight. You have gems, gems. You stand up and tell the same joke, and I'll show you how you'll get a big laugh. Go ahead. Well, I'd appreciate I'd really appreciate it. All right, tell how to say the same joke. My wife was cleaning the closet, and she said that she saw a moth. I'm crying! Oh, no! He drowned out my punchline! Thanks a million. No, but I really do hope for his sake that I'm picked as the best dressed woman of the year. Well, that's a great honor, because I know I, I won it in 1948. <laughs> I'm really very happy to be here, ladies and gentlemen, and particularly to be able to fill Uncle Milty's shoes. Are you through that cigar? No, I'm not through with it right, right now. Well, you don't expect me to wait around here all night, do you? <laughs> not bad for NBC. You listen wait to me. Wait a minute. You listen minute. to me. I'm Burl. 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 Two Burl names. Ah, ah, ah. Conclusion, I'd like to say these words, and I mean it. Fairy tales can come true. It can happen to you if you're young at heart. Or would you rather be a pig? Mr. Burrell, that was great. Uh, really, you liked <laughs> it, huh? I really did. Wow. I wish I could stay, but I have to find my friend Keisha. Good to see you. Goodbye, Malcolm. Goodbye, Mr. Burrell. Goodbye. First down on the Indians' one-yard line. The seconds are ticking away. Crowd's going wild. 
I'll, I'll go wild in a minute if this keeps up much longer. Here they go again. Stanford digging in deep, determined to halt the Crimson Tide. And they fight desperately to put over this ball. I was listening to the 1927 Rose Bowl game. It ended in a tie. Alabama 7, Stanford 7. Well, while they're looking at television, let me tell you about the early days of radio. Yeah, that's how it started. Those are the original chimes. But I gotta be honest with you, 60 years ago, come November, when NBC did its first radio broadcast, I wasn't really paying that, that much attention. I was working all over the country in vaudeville, and some other guys went on radio. Al Jolson made his debut on NBC this in 1928. This is musical starring Al Jolson. When the red, red robin start bob, bob, bobbing along, along. The next year, Rudy Valley and Amos and Andy started. Hi ho, everybody. This is Rudy Valley and Company. Hey, Amos, uh, come here. I've been looking all over for you. How you like it up here in the country? Oh, great, Andy. See, what's this I've been hearing about you? Pretty soon, the Red Wynn and Jack Benny. Rosalie is so fat that when she goes to bed, she reminds you of an ocean liner. <laughs> it takes a couple of tugs to get her out of a slip. <laughs> I said your money or your life. I'm thinking it over. <laughs> By the time I got back to New York and Rudy Valley asked me to do his show, I thought, why not? You know, people started to come up to me after that and say things like, hey, I liked you on that radio show last week. And I began to think there just might be more to radio than met the eye. So I signed aboard. I was lucky. I got a show for Woodbury Soap with Chef Fields and his rippling rhythm. And we came on the air right after the biggest show on radio, the Chase and Sanborn Hour, which starred Edgar Bergen and Charlie McCarthy every Sunday night. After all, if you're telling a story, Mr. Bergen, you know, you know, Mr. Bergen. Yes, I know, I know. Oh, you do? Yes. Well, then there's no use me telling you. No. <laughs> In those days, NBC was Sunday night, and Bergen's guests were always the top performers. Kate Smith, Eddie Cantor, George Burns, and Gracie Allen. If you knew Susie like I know Susie, oh, 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 what a girl. I looked all over what happened to my tube of, sh of, uh, of shaving cream. Well, it's in the kitchen. George, what do you think the, a man would in, like? It's, it's in the kitchen? Yes, I decorated my sister Bessie's birthday cake, and I ran out of whipped cream. <laughs> Radio was full of great comedians. Fred Allen and Portland Hoffa. What does the paper say? Say, hey, look on this last page here. A list of uh, definitions. Here's one of an optimist. An optimist is a man who doesn't care what happens as long as it doesn't happen to him. <laughs> Groucho Marx. You bet your life. It's a quiz show. I ask people questions. Wait a minute. You're not Dr. IQ. No, I'm still an end time. <laughs> the audiences really had to participate. They had to supply the illusion, the imagination, the visual part of what they were all listening to. Radio tied the country together in a very special way. In 1938, I got my own show for Pepsi. By that time, I was also working in Hollywood and films, and we did the radio show from out there as well. And when World War II started, Are we winning? I began to originate the radio shows from Army, Navy, and Marine bases all over the world. How are you, fellow tourists? How are you? We took along a troop of entertainers, and we kept that up right through 1948. You look familiar. What were you in civilian life? Happy. <laughs> I just want you boys to see what you're fighting for, that's all. Then we started our custom of taking a Christmas show to bases in different parts of the world, and we sort of just segued into television with it. Thank you very much. Here we are in West Berlin, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, here we are in Naples. Guantanamo is a Navy term, meaning I hear you knocking, but you can't come in. <laughs> I don't know how close this is to Russia, but the guys in the last three rows are drinking hot borscht. <laughs> this year they sent me here. <laughs> they were thrilled to be here at Osan Air Base, Korea. This is Christmas Day, Vietnam. Here I am at Da Nang, better known as Dodge City. <laughs> We Diego Garcia, huh? Oh, Chi, that's Vietnamese. For you on it, you can have it. <laughs> nice to be here, Don K. Great to be here. This is our beautiful Nam Phong, Thailand. We are right off the coast from Beirut on the hangar deck of the USS Guam.
Christmas, and we pray that we'll see you home soon. Thank you, Pat. President Roosevelt says that the Japanese have attacked Pearl Harbor in Hawaii from the air. This bulletin came to you from the NBC Newsroom in New York. December 7th, 1941, the Japanese attack on Pearl Harbor. President Roosevelt said it was a date which will live in infamy. This is the room in the RCA building in New York from which America first heard the news. It's an office now, and no one around here these days was working here then. My generation remembers December 7th and where we were later when President Roosevelt died. We are joined by our children in remembering John Kennedy when he told us that there were missiles in Cuba pointed our way. And there cannot be anyone over 27 in this country, or perhaps in the world, who doesn't remember where they were when they heard the news on the afternoon of November 22, 1963. That President Kennedy died at approximately 1 o'clock Central Standard Time, which is about 35 minutes ago. And how they spent the long weekend that followed. Perhaps it's a comment on the world we now live in that so many of these instant memories are sad. I may not get there with you. The subsequent assassinations. Kent State. Between National Guardsmen and students. My Lai no in Vietnam. No one offered resistance. Watergate. But the best evidence of what these tapes say is the tapes themselves. The hostages taken. The Pope shot. Exactly 5:17 p.m. The planes hijacked. The cold bloodedness of the hijackers on the ground. And there was the tragedy of the shuttle Challenger. The head of the space shuttle program had no explanations, just sorrow at the tragedy. The moon landings and other good news seemed to come less frequently. But December 7, 1941, was a date which will live in the history of broadcast journalism. The war which followed set the patterns of much of the news we get today. The war forced this business to grow up fast. It was still growing fast when I joined NBC in 1950, when the coaxial cables for television were being laid across the country. We invented a whole new enterprise called television news in those days. And now we're using satellites and computers, and God knows what they'll invent next, but we'll use that too. When you think about it, though, Nothing fundamental has changed in all these years. We are still trying to get the news out as accurately and as quickly as we can. Good news and bad, pictures and sounds of triumph or tragedy that stay in the mind. NBC News has become more important than I ever thought it would be. There are more scholarly studies about our impact than I have time to read. Politicians like to beat up on us occasionally. I guess it goes with the territory. But there are some real satisfactions, and the main one is this. Americans know more about their world and about themselves because we've been here doing our jobs. So I'm proud to be part of NBC News and to share in this celebration. Keisha, where have you been? Well, hi, can we help you? Hi, we're taking the tour of NBC. I see you very early every morning. Yeah, the Today Show. You're Jane Polly and you're Brian Gumbel. Hi, how you doing? We were just looking at some plays and they took all the color out of. Captain Philco. You mean black and white? That was before they had color. You know, back when the Today Show started, it wasn't black and white. When did it start? Well, it's the longest running daily show on NBC. The first Today program was broadcast from New York 34 years ago, on January 14, 1952, to be exact. Back then, the host was one of the great communicators of this business, a fellow named Dave Garraway. Well, here we are. And good morning to you. The very first good morning of what I hope and suspect will be a great many good mornings between you and I. Here it is, Jack said, January 14, 1952, when NBC begins a new program called Today. And if it doesn't sound too revolutionary, I really believe, begins a new kind of television. This is in no sense a studio. This is really a working news center. The news actually is written and put together here in front of your eyes and will be every morning. These are our tape recording machines. 
to put down the voices of people all over the world who may have spoken during the night or who may speak on our early morning program. We'll record them for rebroadcast later. Hello, London. Hello, London. Stand by, London. London, is that Romney Wheeler? Good morning, Romney. This is the first of the NBC series of today broadcasts. Well, today here in London, we're pleased and proud to be part of this exciting new experiment. Now we'll uh, take it down in Washington at the Wardman, top of the Wardman Park Hotel. Take it, Washington. This, uh, Dave, is the Pentagon building over in Arlington, Virginia. Things aren't so visible from the Wardman Park. We'll be with you every day for two hours in the morning. Just about. You know, he had a monkey for a friend called J. Fred Muggs. <laughs> Don't forget now, I'm looking at you. <laughs> no, I'm, now I'm not looking at you. Take your mouth out of my glasses there. What's the idea? <laughs> and after Garraway came a face you'll probably recognize, John Chancellor. Yeah, I see him on the nightly news. The Russian cosmonaut discloses that he was ejected from his spaceship and floated to Earth in a parachute. The picture you're looking at right now is being broadcast to the United States and to Europe simultaneously via the RCA communication satellite called Relay. As Lyndon Johnson and his family prepare to leave the White House, it is an opportune time to talk with some members of the Johnson staff who have been particularly close to the family. And in the second half of this hour, we'll be talking with special Watergate prosecutor Leon Jaworski in Washington. I'm Jim Hartz in the NBC News Center. And later in the hour, we'll be switching to Washington where our guest, the president of the... the young woman with me this morning is someone I'd like you to meet very much. She is Jane Pauley, who is fast becoming familiar to Chicagoans. Jane co-anchors the evening news here and has been doing that for the last three months. And she is going to be a co-host this morning on this, the Today Show's salute to Illinois. Good morning. I'm Tom Brokaw here with Jane Pauley on the Today program. Not a lot of surprises in the next 60 minutes here. We have more heat continuing here in the nation's midsection down into West Texas. It will continue on pretty much throughout the first part of this week. And the heat goes on North Carolina, South Carolina, and throughout Georgia, 100 degrees or better. Hi, from Tokyo. Good morning, all. I'm Tom Brokaw, standing live here aside the Panama Canal for the next two hours. The Today program will be originating from here. Dobre utro, Jane, and welcome to the Soviet Union. Good morning. The Today Express, a specially assembled Amtrak train, is traveling up through Middle America this week, a trip that will carry us to New Orleans, Memphis, Indianapolis, Cincinnati, 2,500 miles by journey's end. Are you cognizant of, of how intimidating it is to be a guest in your program? A lot of people who've come on the show maybe have watched it for years. Yeah. And now all of a sudden they've they put themselves in that position. Ah. Yeah, here we are, tonight show. Uh. You get that reaction. Yeah. I can see that. But I don't think it has anything to do with me. Was Johnny Carson here in New York when he did the interview, or was he in Burbank? No, he was in Burbank. Malcolm, we gotta get to Burbank. Yeah, right, Keisha, let's go. Thanks a lot. Okay, bye-bye. <laughs> Malcolm, where's Burbank? Nothing escapes the eye of Maxim. The world's first SLR with built-in autofocus, Minolta Maxim focuses by itself. Sharp, fast. Only the human eye focuses faster. With Minolta Maxim, you even get unexpected shots that would have gotten away. The incredible Maxim system. Only from the mind of Minolta. I'm a traveling man. Keys, where are my keys? Doing the best I can. Look what I call it, Daddy. I got a job that never ends. I stayed in the lines. It's real good, honey, but I'm a little late. I just get in, catch a glimpse, and then I'm on, I get on the road again. You could take you with you. Stop and smell the roses, isn't that what they say? But while the flowers were blooming, I was always away. It's a great day. What do you say we take a day off? Oh, I know this great little place for lunch. A great taste of McDonald's. I'll be back out there tomorrow, but I'm taking the day to keep those precious moments from slipping away. 
It's a good time for the great taste of McDonald's. From now until May 19th, Volkswagen deals are so special, they're practically steals. Thousands of brand new 1986 Jettas, GTIs, Golfs, and Wolfsburg limited editions are there for the taking. But these Volkswagens are going fast, so hurry in. It all ends May 19th, and missing out would be a crime. Volkswagen steal of a deal, now through May 19th. Next, Michael J. Fox, Angie Dickinson, Pat Sajak, Spectacular Variety with Rowan and Martin, Donald O'Connor, Dinah Shore, Debbie Allen, and many more. Tonight on an all-new Cheers. Maybe it's time I settle down. Will Sam propose or will Diane shoot down his plans for marriage? Then on Night Court, Dan lands the ultimate double date. Forget about the lottery. Give me this one. <laughs> and on Hill Street Blues, Belker suffers a tragic loss. I'm going to miss her so much. Tonight. This is NBC News Digest. Here is Chuck Scarborough, NBC News. Good evening. The Soviet Union said today six people have died of burns and radiation, that 35 are in serious condition, and that three officials have now been disciplined for irresponsible actions after the Chernobyl accident. A federal judge agreed with Union Carbide that billions of dollars in damage claims for the Bhopal chemical disaster should be decided by courts in India, not here. Now this. The Nikon One Touch is so compact, you can slip it in your pocket. That way you won't look like a tourist. Now from Nikon, the versatile teletouch for telephoto, wide-angle, and close-ups. Libya today expelled 36 European diplomats in reprisal for expulsions of Libyans. And Princess Di modeled safety glasses as she and Prince Charles toured an automobile factory in Japan. I'm Chuck Scarborough in New York. More news later on this NBC station. Okay, Kroger, you say there's a difference? Then show me. Fresh. Mm. Garden fresh vegetables at Kroger. Crisp. Crispier. Crunchier. Our produce buyers pick them at the very best prices. Ah. So you can pick the cost cutter savings. This week, visit the Kroger Garden for first of the season golden yellow sweet corn. Cost cutter priced just 17 cents a year. Pick just what you need from the Kroger Garden and taste the difference. Mm. Go Krogering. Glacier Bay, Alaska, and old Milwaukee both mean something great to these guys. Glacier Bay means the one and only Alaskan king crab. Sweet, fresh, and big. And old Milwaukee means a great beer. Cold, crisp old Milwaukee beer. And smooth, golden old Milwaukee light. There's nothing like the flavor of a special place. An old Milwaukee beer. Old Milwaukee and old Milwaukee light. Hey, guys. It doesn't get any better than this. Is ROTC too tough for Toledo Public Schools? More tonight. Oh, yeah, this uh, drunk was putting all these quarters in this parking meter, and a policeman walked up and said, are you crazy? Drunk said, crazy? Look at the odds, nine to five. <laughs> Who's there? Uh, <clears throat> uh, sorry, uh, Mr. Hope. I, I couldn't help listening. I'm uh, really a big admirer of yours. Oh, uh, my name is... Uh, Michael J. Fox. That's right, you know. Sure, I've watched Family Ties, and I think you're a wonderful young comedian. Actor, actually. Well, I, I, I can't tell you what that means coming from you. I mean, you're a, you're a master of timing. No, you are. I saw Back to the Future. Now, I learned a lot playing vaudeville all over this country, you know, playing in front of every kind of an audience. Best education there was in vaudeville. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm sorry, I missed that. I wasn't even around when vaudeville died. Yeah, it died and went on the Ed Sullivan Show. But it all came back as television. Some of the best variety performers who ever appeared in the tube were old vaudeville hands like Jack Benny and George Burns. I, I was lucky enough one time to see some uh, old television footage with Eddie Cantor and Jimmy Durante. From Hollywood, Colgate Tom Pete presents the Colgate Comedy Hour, starring Eddie Cantor. Ladies and gentlemen, this is really an exciting event. This is the first time that a television show is going commercial from Hollywood across the nation. 
like the light, I'll be home late tonight. Blackbird, bye-bye. I'll be paid to stop. Say now even when things go wrong. I do be better. You even look better. Ah, uh, folks, I'm very happy to be on Sunday nights for Colgate. For all over the country, romantic young couples are sitting in their love seats holding hands, watching television, with all the lights out except the lights in their television sets. I got an idea. I got an idea. Turn all them cameras off. That's it. That's it. Now turn them on again. I hope you kids took advantage of the blackout. <laughs> Whatever your name is. Buffalo, uh, you don't understand. You take the bucket and you put it under the cow's udder. Huh? You take the bucket and you put it under the cow's udder. The cow's utter what? <laughs> Not utter what, the cow's utter. I take the bucket and I put it where? Under the cow's utter. The cow's utter what? Not utter But then television started training its own. One of the first teams was Martin and Lewis. Get your filthy hands up! <laughs> I think we lost the punchline of the whole set. <laughs> What happened to the wishbone? Huh? We lost the wishbone. Listen. You know how accidents happen on shows? If we didn't find the wishbone, you people would be tuned in till 11.30. <laughs> If it doesn't work out, don't blame Paul or the boys in the band or anybody like that, because if I'd have known I was going to do it this way, I should have been around here all day and, and rehearsed it this afternoon, but I couldn't make it this afternoon because I was tied up. And uh, I wasn't doing anything, just laying there in the closet, tied up. Thank you, thank you, thank you, and good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, NBC, and thank you, Pontiac. I want you to know I'm tickled to death to be back. I want you to know I came prepared for the show tonight. I went to the barber shop this afternoon. I figured even if the jokes are no good, at least you walk out of here saying, well, he's a clean-looking kid, anyhow. <laughs> a man is a two-faced, a worrisome thing who leave you to sing. Dream along with me I'm on my way to the star Come along, come along Leave your worries where they are You didn't think I knew the lyrics, huh? The night It's like a lovely tune Apple, a plum, and apricot, too. Huh? Folks, we'd love to settle down here. Just as an old paint. Uh, hey, honey, it's uh, Eddie Bracken. He's eating my dress for Eddie Bracken. <laughs> but it's still Eddie Bracken. <laughs> Giselle McKenzie brings us that well-known sarcastic love song, A Fine Romance. A fine romance with no kisses. A fine romance, my friend, this is.
Don't be nervous, folks. Dean is fine. He just fell in the wine cellar. Hazel! Well, you gotta see it to believe it. Well, you better believe it, because you ain't gonna get to see it. and Martin's Laugh-In. Every Christmas I waited for you. <laughs> Unless my clock is right, it's Sock It To Me time. Sock It To Me? <laughs> is this kind of stuff won 16 Emmys? <laughs> Who would dare sock it to me? <laughs> There's no one left to sock it to me. <laughs> Sock it to me? Well, I guess you're looking forward to a good season. Uh, you bet your sweet bippy I am. <laughs> good day. Welcome to Canadian Corner to Great White North. And look at this. I'm Bob McKenzie, and this is my brother, Doug. And uh, this is Doug's new beer bottle. Look. Oh, take off, eh? Your underwear can kill you, say top researchers. It's true. Um, people will put on extra weight and they'll buy clothes bigger than them. Um, but they won't do that for underwear. And as a result, the blood gets trapped in, uh, in their tush area and they die. <laughs> so wonderful. The easy dancers, great singers, and funny, funny. Be a clown, be a clown, all the world loves a clown, act the fool, play the cat. And you'll always have the last laugh. If you become a doctor, folks will face you with dread. If you become a dentist, they'll be glad when you're dead. You'll get a bigger hand if you can stand on your head. Be a clown, be a clown, be a... Something peculiar, something for everyone, a comedy tonight. Something appealing, something appalling, something for everyone, a comedy tonight. Nothing with kings, nothing with crowns. Bring on the lover, liars and clowns. Old oh, situations, new complications. Nothing portentous or polite. 
Tragedy tomorrow. Tragedy tomorrow. Comedy tonight. Come follow the band. Wherever it's at. Let both of your feet be tied to the ground and let your heart go right to that A flag in your hand. A plume in your hat. Step out to the sweet. You go play the sound of you. Quicksand in the clouds. Shall we? Don't bother. They're here. The costumes, the scenery, the makeup, the props, the audience who lifts you when you're down, the headaches, the heartaches, the backaches, the flops. The sheriff who escorts you out of town. The opening when your heart beats like a drum. The closing when the customers won't come.
Be a clown, be a clown, be a clown. some cheering up. It's been one of those days. You remember when you were little? Place your feet in fifth position. Okay. Do an arabesque. Oh, Dad. Cross your arms. A squeeze. There. You get a big hug from Daddy. I miss you, Dad. The small car buyer delivered his challenge to the American car maker loud and clear. Give me a better car at a better price, and I'll stop buying imports. I say, fair enough. The monkey's on our backs. And that's why Chrysler put together the America Project. Workers, engineers, suppliers, all working together to drive quality up and not cost down. And guess what? Working together works. This May, two new 1987 small cars will come down the production line. The America Series. Omni America from Dodge, Horizon America from Plymouth. We improved quality, added equipment, boosted performance, and still took $710 out of the price. Maybe that puts a monkey on somebody else's back. Because with five-year, 50,000-mile protection and a $54.99 sticker price, these cars are a better value than any small car from America, Japan, Korea, or Timbuktu. The Chrysler America Series is the roadmap to the future, working together to be the best. That's what America is all about, isn't it? Get your jammies on and I'll be up to kiss you goodnight. Kids, some days you love them and others, well, this was a good day. So I took them to Wendy's for their favorite treat. And with the special price, I got a treat too. The special treat? Wendy's Kids Meal, now only 99 cents. A kid's hamburger, golden fries, and a choice of delicious frosty or soft drink, all in a special box with a prize, and now only 99 cents. Thanks, Wendy's. Wendy's Kids Meal, now only 99 cents with each adult purchase. It really happened. In 1979, two innocent Americans were imprisoned in Iran. One man would have paid any price for their freedom. Another had a better plan. For me, if they grab one American, then you let them get away with it. And every American everywhere becomes a target. I'd go get them. Inspired by the true story of the white-collar commandos who dared the impossible. Bert Lancaster, Richard Crenna, and Paul Lamatt star in On Wings of Eagles Sunday. Nose, but I don't know what all this other stuff is. Well, it's rubber made in layers, and when an actor has to grow old in the part, that's what the makeup people use to age them. But well, doesn't it make your face feel funny? Well, I don't know. They don't do it to tour guides. <laughs> <laughs> but there was a wonderful program many years ago. Julie Harris was the star, and she was playing Queen Victoria. She went from being an 18-year-old girl into the 82-year-old Queen of England. Oh, only Cousin George. The other day, he asked me to marry him. He said it would make him good. Your cousin, George? Yes. He said that all my uncles wished it, and that the king wished it, too, so that was why he asked me. I dare say they do. But you are not going to marry your cousin, George. He is not going to be king. No, Mama. Not if I am to be queen. I saw the prince give her this flower. Do you mean to deny it? No, Your Majesty, no. He did not give it to her. She had dropped it. Dropped it? Yes, I'm sure. No, ma'am. Quite by accident. It fell out of her hair. The prince only picked it up and returned it to her. You saw that, you say? Life in the next world. 
When we really get to it, it will be very interesting. So much to see and hear and learn. My dear Lord, pray sit down. I thank you, ma'am. <clears throat> May I be permitted to inquire if your Majesty's health has benefited? I'm feeling bonny, as we say in Scotland. <laughs> Life out of doors suits me. Now to affairs of state. This morning's news is not good, I'm afraid. The Russians are getting nearer to Constantinople. Uh, they will never enter it, ma'am. was a production of the Hallmark Hall of Fame. The first Hallmark aired on Christmas Eve, 1951. It was the first opera commissioned for television, A Mall and the Night Visitor. Tell me the truth. Sure enough, there are not two kings outside. That is surprising. The kings are three, and one of them is black. Oh, what will I do with this boy? If you are stronger, I'd like to win you. I knew it. I'm going to the door myself, and then, young man, you'll have to reckon with me. If I took money for what I say, I'd be cheating the public, for in truth, I know nothing. All I have is a kind of skill in debate. But that's what they use you for. That's what they go to you for. Alcibiades did it, and Critias, and dozens of others. They spend a few years with you, and suddenly they are great orators and powers in the state, while here you sit in the same old shirt. If I took money, then it leads you to corruption if you're searching for the truth. Eventually, you'll go where the money is, not where the, where the truth, where the truth is. Who is she? She first class geisha girl. She know her business. <laughs> Good night, boss. Ain't no answer for an answer. You don't have to shout. I can hear you. Just thought I'd check up on you. How are things going? Well, uh, everything seems to be under control at the moment, sir. How are you getting along with the villagers? Well, uh, the problem here's an old one, sir. It's a question of uh, who's going to lose face. I understand. As Mrs. Purdy says, east is east and west is west, and there can be no twain. But you're making progress. Well, uh, nothing I'd like to put on paper, sir. Well, when things get moving down there, send in a detailed progress report. Well, if that's what you want, sir. You'll find that these people lack the capacity for sustained endeavor. Don't hesitate to build a fire under them. That won't be necessary, sir. Don't forget, the eyes of Washington are on you, Fisby. I hope not, sir. Fisby, it just occurred to me, have you given any thought to physical education? If I may say so, sir, I consider that suggestion a masterpiece of timeliness. Thank you. Thank you, my boy. Could you use a deck of cards? Yeah. Some old adventure magazines. Hello. Hello, Fisby. You're getting weak. Why did you save me? Do 
you understand? Why? Water. You gave me water and a little pity. Lord Bottomley has asked me to marry him. Oh, Maggie. Oh, really? Well, what do you know? Oh, well, Maggie, I'm so excited. I just can't think straight. Oh. Now, you have got to help me get out of here. Oh, Lorraine, I'd be delighted. Now, let me understand this, Lorraine. Am I to gather from your girlish squeals? That you're about to toss your career into the ash can? Oh, Sherry, you can't... I understand only too well. I also understand why Liz Taylor is a bigger star than you are. Lorraine, we're in luck. You can get a plane out of Toledo at 10.30. Now, that's only an hour from here. 10.30? That means that I can be in London tomorrow morning. Hey, get ready, Mr. <gasps> White. in half an hour. Oh, oh, you know, it's snowing, and I just never felt so Christmassy in all my life. It's all working out so wonderfully, isn't it, Sherry? Beachy. Oh, tell me, why are you staring at my nose? Oh, no, I... I... I uh, it doesn't astonish you. Your grace misunderstands. I've been careful not to look. And why not, if you please? Why? It disgusts you, then. My dear sir. Does its color appear to you unwholesome? Uh, oh, by no means. Or its form obscene? Not in the least. Then why assume this deprecating manner? Perhaps you find it just a trifle large? Oh, no. Small. Very small. Infinitesimal. What house? You accuse me of absurdity, small, my nose. Why, magnificent! My nose. You pug, you knob, you buttonhead. Know that I glory in this nose of mine. For a great nose indicates a great man. Genial, courteous, intellectual, virile, courageous, such as I am. And such as you, poor wretch, will never dare to be even in imagination. For that face of yours, which my right hand finds on top of you, is as devoid of pride, of poetry, of soul, of picturesqueness, of contour, of character, of nose, in short, is that which at the end of your limp spine my left foot kicks. <laughs> First act, friends, and grab a snack now. That is, those of you not on a diet. The art of investment and financial security requires painstaking preparation. Bold strokes influenced by a mastery of expertise. A creative approach to IRAs, annuities, and innovative forms of insurance. As one of the strongest diversified financial institutions, we have the capabilities to turn the business of investment into an art. The Travelers. Have you looked under the Travelers umbrella lately? Here's to all the little people, cost starting out real small. Takes love and dedication and giving it your all. For generations, we've made Kool-Aid with vitamin C and that taste kids love at about half the price of soda. Today, you've made it the third largest soft drink brand in America. fly to Hollywood for Barbara Mandrell's next concert? She's reserved priority seats for you. Can you meet her backstage and go out on the town with her? You can if you win the Whisk Me to Hollywood sweepstakes. Look for this ad and pick up an entry form at your supermarket. Let the people who whisk away ring around the collar whisk you away to Hollywood. Next Monday on you again, Henry's crime man brother hits town. I lost 300,000, but I am on a first name basis with Madonna. Will Matt fall for his sneaky scheme? <laughs> then on Valerie. No, people. With mom working full time, can the kids pick up the slack? Pick up slack, they barely pick up their rooms. An hour of fun next Monday. I'm Bryant Gumbel. Tomorrow morning on Today, Jaime Cardinal Scene of the Philippines. I'm Jane Pauley, also Kelly McGillis, Michael York, and more with Alan Walda. That's tomorrow morning on Today. And this is where we build backdrops for shows like The Tonight Show, Game Shows, Light Shows. Hey, Pepper, how you doing? <laughs> Great, thank you. I still hear that from time to time, and I guess it's not so unusual. 
I played Sergeant Pepper Anderson on Police Woman for four years. Everything you see is for real. The pilot aired as an episode on another NBC series, Police Story. The police show has been a staple ever since the beginning of television. They've come thick and fast since then, with most of us instantly knowing where we are when we hear the famous musical logo. Dragnet heralded a major change in television cop shows. The story you are about to see is true. The names have been changed to protect the innocent. Cases were drawn from the files of a real police department. Attention was paid to the details, the monotony and frustration of the day-to-day -day work, the price exacted from any kind of private life. My name's Friday. That basic formula now widely accepted. We welcomed program after program. I can assure you, man, keeps checking us out. We're running. Good idea. And gradually, the police detective became a standard. Why, Mildred, you mean you do like me? I don't think I said that, Commissioner. Mildred, be careful. Mac needs that for his work. That's work? I'm a strange guy. Really? Yeah, I worry. I mean, little things bother me. I'm a worrier. I mean, little insignificant details. I lose my appetite. I can't eat. Ellen! Ellen! International police detective or spy had a vote. It's not war paint. What's your name? The name is Templar. Simon Templar. The private investigator came along and smudged the borders, but enjoyed audience popularity. Still does. I gotta get some sleep. Ray. Oh. I am bushed. Come on, that could be opportunity. How? Don't. Mr. Rockley? Uh, I'm Jim Rockley. I need your help. My sister Linda, something's happened to her. Uh, it's awfully early in the morning. You think you could come back just a little later this morning? What are you grinning at, Mrs. Steele? Someone just tried to kill us. Precisely, Miss Holt. We must be on the right track. The scientific aspects of police work were introduced, and we all learned a lot about forensic medicine. Under your hat, toxicology on Leopold Ackerman. Tell me it wasn't the gas. He was asphyxiated by the gas, but take a look what else showed up. Chloroform, enough to put him away? More than enough. You think we got a murder on our hands? At least one, Sam. Then we got cops on wheels. But the good old basic cop on the street is still a concept that works. 
even though the streets they walk are a far cry from Dragnet's Los Angeles. And the cops involved are walking those streets in outfits Joe Friday would have run them in for almost 40 years ago. 5,000 street corners in greater Miami. And Gumby here's got a big ours. First down now for Southern California. Do you remember the Rose Bowl back in 1969? Ohio State beat USC 27 to 16. But it wasn't because O.J. Simpson was goofing off. Almost half of his 170 yards rushing came on this spectacular 80-yard touchdown run. If you concentrate, play your hunch, bet your life, and name that tune, you may be able to make the connection. And if the price is right, you could make a deal and break the bank. Welcome to the celebration of that part of NBC, which usually takes place in the daytime. I'm Pat Sajak, and this is my Wheel of Fortune. And welcome to my world of daytime drama, or as they're lovingly known, the soaps. In the early 1930s, the radio serial, Ma Perkins was a real big winner. You know how our show begins, McDonald Carey saying, like sands through the hourglass, so are the days of our lives. Listen to what was said on the radio as Ma Perkins began. And here's Arsenal known Ma Perkins again. The true life story of a woman whose life is the same, whose surroundings are the same, whose problems are the same as those of thousands of other women in the world today. A woman who spent all her life taking care of her home, washing and cooking and cleaning and raising her family. Well, Ma began in 1933 and was on the air for 15 years. In fact, the radio audience for daytime dramas was approximately 40 million housewives a day. When television came along, the soaps were not far behind. Early NBC daytime dramas were From These Roots in 1958, The Doctors in 1963, and one which began in 1964 and is still with us, Another World. has been playing Joanne Barron for 35 years. She is Search for Tomorrow. But where is Daddy, Mommy? What were you going to say? That's all. What do you say? Pardon? Okay. <laughs> Partner? Can I join me, Clyde? Uh, you're no fun. I bet you Bonnie would have gone along with the gag. You know what happened to her. The latest exciting soap to join the NBC roster is the fabulous Santa Barbara. You can take it. As a matter of fact, you can take all of it. Only you haven't got me, and you have not got my son. Thank you. 
And of course, there's a very special place in my heart for the long-running days of our lives. You've given us back our family. Of course, deep down, I knew that we never lost it. And I never, never will. <laughs> Make my day. Talking about gorgeous dog face, you got a puss on you that just won't quit. I guess I, um... I fell in love with you the first time I saw you. Because we've got something very special here. It's worth fighting for. Well, those wonderful dramas are a tough act to follow, but some of us in the game world can also claim to deal in fantasy. sum of $2,000. Welcome to Juvenile Jury. Now let's present our first in-person guest kid, and her name is Bernadette Peters. Here she is. Bernadette? Hi, Bernadette. Hi. It's the new Fred Allen Show. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Judge for Yourself. Name that tune. Look away, time to play. Truth or consequences. Uh -uh. People are funny. Let's see the hands of anybody here who'd like to get their hands on a brand new car. What does the uh, G stand for, Romero? Huh? Gonzalez? <laughs> no, I know. Romero Gonzalez, but it says Romero G. Gonzalez. What oh. does the G stand for? Ramiro Gonzalez Gonzalez. <laughs> What are you, twins? No, Ramiro Gonzalez Gonzalez because my father, before she married my mother, he was Gonzalez. Well, they were crazy to get married. <laughs> what does your wife call you, Romero or Gonzalez? Uh, she called me Pedro. Would you like to be queen for a day? Back for the second week, Mr. Cecil Rhodes, Jr. And returning with $14,000, Mrs. Vivian Nearing. Your host on The Price is Right, Bill Cullen. Mr. Hearn, you're 37, top score, your last bit. Five seconds. Yes, uh, I know. Uh, 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 Hold it down a little bit. Give a chance to think now, everybody. 48. The NBC Television Network presents Concentration. You have made a match. You get a look at two more parts of the puzzle, which come into view. You have the right to guess in the next few seconds what is our puzzle. The Battle of Lexington. Is great! Oh, you got it. Welcome, everybody, to Play Your Hunch. And now here's the star of Play Your Hunch, Mer Griffin. Bring that lady down here because tonight, dear teacher, it could be you. The Match Game. And now here is your host, Gene Rayburn. And here is the star of Jeopardy, Art Woody. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to a brand new show called Jeopardy. Let's play... Double Jeopardy! Let's make a deal! And now, here's America's top trader, TV's big dealer, Marty Hall! All set? Here we go. Who dictated the story of his life to a man named Barrett. Colorado Levine. Geronimo. Geronimo, yes! Hollywood Square. Avarice, sloth, envy, lust, gluttony, pride, anger. Put them all together and you have... Rock ropes. <laughs> it's Super Password. And the star of Super Password, Bird Condon. Over 100 
You know, Pat, I think we have a lot in common. Well, I'm glad to hear that, Deidre, but uh, what are you talking about exactly? Well, I mean that, that we both deal with reality and fantasy every single day. You know, there's one more thing we have in common, though. What? And that is all of us at NBC Daytime deal in entertainment. You're right. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, NBC. NBC. Stay right there and don't move. Seiko changes time. Fashion firsts, made to last. The Seiko Fashion Collection at authorized dealers. The big games tonight. How do you start them off right? Ravioli. Thank goodness for Chef Boyardee. She wants a treat, but what's good to eat? Spaghetti and meatball. Thank goodness for Chef Boyardee. Sure they love it, and it's good for them too, because we use the good ingredients you would, with no preservatives. Want to watch out for fats and things like that? Beefaroni. Thank goodness for Chef Boyardee. Thank goodness for Chef Boyardee. What butter brings to everything is gold. What butter brings is something that margarine cannot, because margarine is mostly hydrogenated oil and water, not a dairy product at all. Butter is dairy fresh milk that brings something special to everything. What butter brings to everything is gold. Nothing cuts through thirst like Gatorade Thirst Quencher. It quenches the thirst in your throat while it helps put back the potassium, fluids, and minerals your body sweats away. Gatorade is thirsty. <sighs> For that deep down body thirst. Stay tuned for Westerns with Michael Landon. Family comedy with Barbara Eden, B. Arthur, Mala Gibbs, and Elle Carter. Wednesday on Highway to Heaven, a two-hour movie. Two young outcasts fall in love. But can Jonathan stop a murderous mistake? For God's sake, don't run! Wednesday. This is NBC News Digest. Here is Chuck Scarborough, NBC News. Good evening. Six deaths from the Chernobyl disaster were reported by the Soviet Union today, presumably bringing the total to eight. And these pictures were received, made from about eight miles away by a Yugoslav tourist the day after the accident, showing smoke rising above the plant. Now this. From now until May 19th, Volkswagen deals are so special, they're practically steals. But these Volkswagens are going fast, so hurry in. It all ends May 19th, and missing out would be a crime. The General Accounting Office today asked the Justice Department to see if former White House aide Michael Deaver violated conflict of interest laws by lobbying for the Canadian government. And the police in Albuquerque responded to a report of marijuana growing in the courthouse window. They clipped the leaves of what proved to be a plastic bamboo palm tree. I'm Chuck Scarborough in New York. More news later on this NBC station. The Burger King Late Night drive through Feel the rhythm of the night, can't you hear it? Now you're moving straight ahead to the end. It's past the midnight hour in the city at Burger King. We're up and ready. The Burger King Late Night drive through It's your late night place for plain broiled taste. It's past midnight. Burger King, we're up and ready. Aren't you hungry for Burger King now? Shot, one stop. Kroger puts you right on top. Yeah, 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 yeah. On top, on top. Kroger service is nonstop. Loose, loose. Produce, produce. Kroger lets you pick and choose. True, so true, we do, we do, all that you want us to, 
At Kroger, friendly service is easy to see, and it's all for you. Personal service, that's the Kroger difference. Go Krogering. Is ROTC too tough for Toledo Public Schools? More tonight. 1974, Atlanta versus the Los Angeles Dodgers. Hank Aaron, playing for the Braves, steps up to bat and hits his 715th home run to break Babe Ruth's record. Welcome to the Ponderosa. From 1950 to 1974, NBC aired more than 2,000 Western episodes. Now, that's a lot of horses. Throughout those years, the legends of the West came to life. Pat Masterson, Hopalong Cassidy, Daniel Boone, and, of course, Little Joe. I like to think of the Old West as a simpler time. A time when you didn't have to lock a door. A time when you could sleep with your gold under the mattress. But it took the deputy, Hank Fonda, to set the record straight. Trouble is, life ain't all sweetness and light. Be nice if it was, but it ain't. was a tall order, and no one in town could do it like Wells Fargo's quick-drawing Dale Robertson. Try using that gun on me, workman. You've got an itch that nothing can soothe except seeing a man go down in front of your gun. tough in the old west you weren't catching a robber you were trying to fend off someone with a gun who thought he could out shoot you gene barry's bat masterson always won the bet ain't nobody can out shoot me now you watch <laughs> oh uh, jack let me have that bottle please Western was worth its salt without a good chase. And there was always a posse around just raring to go. You little wildcat, I'm not gonna hurt you. Well, what are you chasing me for? Chasing you? I wasn't chasing you. I thought your horse was running away. I was trying to catch up with him. <laughs> you must think I'm pretty stupid, Mr. My friends call me Hoppy, 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 Hoppy.
Acting in the Old West was a lot more than yup, nope, and follow that horse. You never knew who you'd find on the Virginia. And thus we rust life's iron chain, degraded and alone. I'm taking you to the sheriff. Oh, no, you're not! Yeah. Plenty of ways to settle an argument in the new frontier. You could gun a man down or ride him out of town. But Life Erickson from High Chaparral proved that nothing was better than the old one-two. was a symbol of the American spirit and unity. And no one embodied those principles better than Fest Parker's Daniel Boone. Well, what do you say, Gabriel? Will you sit down to a Thanksgiving feast with us? Will you bury that war club? You don't want to attack your people and your friends. We'll feast at your table. created heroes. The heroes became legends. Some of them are still with us today. Happy trails to quiet now, but wait until everyone knows how good Frito-Lay has made Nacho Cheese Tostitos brand. Then you know what they have done? Yes. The taste is sharper, tangier. No one else has a Nacho Cheese like it. Tell us the rest. That's it. Sharp Nacho Cheese flavor on a thin, crispy chip. Try new Sharp Nacho Cheese Tostitos brand tortilla chips. We'd like to see that sack if we may. Take off your mask and we'll talk.
her. Beautiful hair is just a matter of time. Sometimes you need a little finesse. Sometimes you need a lot. Finesse. It's the oil-free conditioner you control with time. A few seconds for light conditioning, a few minutes for deep conditioning. The longer you leave it on, the more it conditions. Sometimes you need a little finesse. Sometimes you need a lot. Finesse. And now for extra protection for overstyled hair, try new finesse NutriCare formulas. In old Salem County, in southern New Jersey, the warm days and cool nights of September nurture a spinach that's filled with flavorful crinkles and swirls. Stofus calls it Curly Savoy. Its lush green leaves, some as large as your hand, are destemmed and washed and chopped into dozens of tender pieces. Now you know one of the reasons why Stofus vegetable lasagna is as good as can be. Kim faces a shocking crisis. It's too early. I can't have this baby right now. Will their dreams for a family be shattered? I'm not going to let our baby die. Days of our lives this week. I'll have to check out old prop rooms. This uh, looks like a radio my dad used to have. In the 30s, kids spent the long winter afternoons listening to the radio and filling out the box tops and breakfast cereals and sending them in for prizes. Hot chocolate mugs from Orphan Annie, official buttons from Dick Tracy, decoder rings from Tom Mix. Kids ate the cereal and mailed the letters, but what they did mostly was listen to the radio. The next generation did much the same thing, although now they were watching as well. NBC's early television took care of the children with shows that taught manners, science, and the basics on how to get along in the world of the late 40s. Why, hi, how do you do? Why, hi, I'm Jolie. Why, hi, how do you do? Miss Frances rang her bell. Good morning, boys and girls. Mr. Wizard showed us Bunsen burners. And we sang along with Howdy Doody. Howdy Doody song, let's go, kids! And wondered why Clarabelle the Clown never spoke. Wouldn't you rather have the balloons yourself? Why, certainly. Uh, look, Clarabelle has balloons. What are you going to do with the balloons, Clarabelle? Gonna give them to the kids. I'm gonna give my balloons to kids. That's the spirit. Give the balloons to the kids. Here's one piece. Yes. Where'd your balloons go, Chief? <laughs> you pay my balloons. It was, it was, it was a nice. <laughs> Lamb Chop was a real tiny woolly character. Everybody always treats me like a, a nobody. Get out of here, nobody. They say. And I don't want to be a nobody. I want to be a somebody. Oh, please say yes. Don't say no. Don't say no. Yes. Why not? I said yes. Yeah, what? You. You. you Say it again. Yes. Never really occurred to us to marvel at the fact that Sherry Lewis had a sock in her hand and spoke lamb. Snaggletoothed Oliver Dragon and his wise and gentle friend Kukla, together with the real live Fran Allison, entertain us all from the years 1948 to the end of 1957. Do you remember when they did a full-scale production of St. George and the Dragon? the musical accompaniment provided by Arthur Fiedler and the Boston Pops. Then the old world took a couple of turns and the things that children had to be taught were of a very different nature. From clowns that didn't speak and socks that did, we learned it was okay to talk about being adopted. It's just that ever since I was a little girl and knew I was adopted, I've thought about my real mother and father. I want to find them if I can. We learned that sometimes people did terrible things to each other. What are they doing, Dad? Please, Bill. Look, 
I have to go out there. Call the police. We found that boys and men could have a good time taking care of babies. Oh, boy, babies! Hey, hey, mother, hey, you guys, hey, hey, listen up, hey, listen up, listen up. I can't believe it, babies found me. There's lots to learn about. There's feeding and diapering and bathing. But the best part is how taking care of these babies is going to turn you guys on to one of the best parts of yourselves. We learned that grown-ups had a tough time dealing with problems, too. How come you got your uniform on? Battle dress, my man. Got to go down to court this morning and jail this afternoon. How come you don't wear every day? Because we don't have to fight all of our fights in the courts, Louis. Some of them we got to fight starting right here on the block. You know, have a fight with somebody on the block? No, not against anybody on the block, man. It's just we got to get it together until we can fight the people to make us live this way. We learned that you had to learn to say no. <laughs> Your turn, Danny. Uh, no thanks. It's not my thing. If you just say no to drugs and alcohol, you'll be saying yes to a whole lot more. We could see kids much like us halfway around the world through the good offices of a large yellow bird. Oh, oh boy. <laughs> hey, everybody! This is the Great Wall of China! Sure, we watch cartoons. <laughs> Your very first day. Oh. <laughs> I believe he thinks you're his mother, Smurfette. His mother? But I. <laughs> We've become an age Welcome group capable of discussing things. Design. If you have checked your television, your newsstand, listened to your radio lately, you've no doubt heard that some are complaining that rock and roll lyrics have gone too far. Excessively violent in some cases, they say. Too sexually explicit in others. It's it's pretty hard to tell a, a teenager or a kid around our age what to buy and what not to buy, especially when it comes to music. It's what you if the music is what you like, then I don't think any adult should be telling the kids that this is too uh, what a violent for, or uh, violent for a kid to listen to. If he likes it, then let him. If, if people, if a kid goes to a store and they heard music on the radio and they say, oh, I want to buy that, that, radio, that record, then nothing's they can have stop. it. Right, nothing's going to stop. We found that the human spirit was unbeatable and that sometimes among us there are indeed Pied Pipers. An eight-foot piranha is standing right there and looking at me with a thousand teeth. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take a step with the right foot. Bah! I'm going to kick that fish right in his teeth. But here's the hard thing. I'm going to pull my foot out of his mouth and put it down on the ground on three. Now watch me. There's the piranha. Step. Kick. Bop. Bop. Here comes the piranha. Step. Bop. I think he involves cops because normally you wouldn't think uh, a police officer as a dancer. Sometimes you may not have fun, but it always leads to fun. stage in my life. He, he's something I'll remember very much. I have learned that um, once you try something, you can do it. NBC has had a 60-year commitment to children's programming. Wimbledon, 1980. Bjorn Borg has won two sets. John McEnroe has won but a single set. The game score in the fourth set locked at six all. After the exciting tiebreaker is over, Borg has won the title. I know you've seen Bob Hope already, but I just had to slip in here and let you in on a little secret. Way back when television was just getting a toehold in your living rooms, I appeared on Bob Hope's first television show, his first special. Of course, they weren't called specials then. They were called spectaculars, but spectaculars or specials, every time we see him, it's an event, a special event, a spectacular event. I know we're all here celebrating NBC's 60th anniversary, but and this is a little secret. This is Bob Hope's 53rd anniversary with NBC. He did his first radio show here for the network in 1933, and he hasn't missed a beat since. Oh, 
tell jokes? Yeah. Hey, Dan. <laughs> I name this territory Raquel Welch. If completely satisfied, I'm completely satisfied. There's nobody like you. Put it there, pal. Put it there. On making one more flick with me, now what's your attitude? Put it there, pal. Put it there. Oh, you're adorable. Can you kiss as well as a deer? <laughs> Even better, I was siphoning before there was a gas shortage. <laughs> Tell me, do you really love me? Oh, of course, I'll do anything for you. Oh, good. Then you'll give me your Oscar? Well, why, why on earth do you want to? I had my ears pierced. <laughs> you know your seams are crooked? That shows how much you know I'm not wearing stockings. <laughs> You can hold that as long as you want. Well, I don't work till November. It's my show. <laughs> Boy, don't I know. Here we are, 660 radio shows later, 300 television shows later, my spectacular friend and special event, Bob Hope. Mwah! Thank you, Dinah. You're pretty special, too. That's becoming a slightly overworked word these days. If everything is special, then nothing is. But when you look at some of the wonderful productions that NBC has aired through the years, it's hard to come up with any other word to describe them than special events. Mary Martin, of course, starred in Peter Pan in the legendary NBC production in 1956 of that great classic. It was a special performance of a very special nature. It wasn't a series, it wasn't a variety show or a western. It was just a special event. Throughout the years, NBC has had more than a few of these very special events. Take a bell. Love and marriage, love and marriage. Go together like the horse and carriage. There was a spellbinding production of Our Town, which starred Frank Sinatra as the stage manager and Eva Marie Saint and Paul Newman as the young lovers. You said that, that, that you watched me at everything that I did? Well, I was doing the same about you all the time. Sure, I, I always thought about you as, as one of the chief people I thought about. Here is a tantalizingly short amount of footage from that historic petrified forest which starred Henry Fonda, Humphrey Bogart, Lauren Bacall, and Jack Warden. The cops ain't likely to catch up with us, at least not for a while. So we can all be quiet and peaceable and have a few beers together and listen to the music. Let there be killing. All evening long, I've had a feeling of destiny closing in. You thought you could escape it and skip off to the Phoenix Biltmore, but we know better. That's what the stars told me, and perhaps they know that carnage is imminent, and I'm due to be among the fallen. It's a fascinating thought. Let's skip it. Happy days. NBC has presented special events in almost every form, some long, some short. Tens of thousands of them. Sick, dying, starving. Yes, a massive rescue operation. You are the most beautiful woman I have ever known. And if I take one step toward you, I will forget why I came here in the first place. I warn you, Jim, if you allow this atrocity to take place, I will personally see you are tried as a war criminal. I am not a barbarian. Watakshi wa samurai. Watakshi wa hatamoto. I am samurai. Ie yabanjin. Watakshi wa samurai. 
I'm going to try and get you some new identity papers. Inga. Then we can move somewhere else where they don't know us. Inga. Then you can work. Inga, you're dreaming. It is the same all over Germany. Why dismantle Auschwitz? Would it not be more fitting to let them stand as monuments to our great service to mankind? No one will believe any of this. They'll say we lied. Because nobody could do this to other people. for every demonstration that goes wrong in this country. And what Bird said on the floor of the Senate, that I was responsible for people being killed. Now, since when have you cared what he says about you? It isn't him, Corey. It's others. It's our own young people that hurt the most. Black, Black men and, and white, white men. men. Jews and Gentiles, Protestants and Catholics will be able to join hands and sing the words of that old Negro spiritual, free at last, free at last. Thank God Almighty. I'm so awfully ashamed, Doctor. That's all right. I've always been like this. Always. And I used to think that everybody was like this, that they would just naturally wake up and be someplace else or a whole lot older or wearing another dress. Once I woke up, and I was two years older. Sybil. Oh. Please don't touch me. It hurts me. Take it easy, Eddie. Would you hold these for me? Oh, sure. Try to make it easy on yourself and on us, huh? I'm okay. I'm just about finished. You know something? They're not shooting me for desertion. Not, lots of guys have done that. They just need to make an example, and I'm it, because I'm an ex-con. How are your wrists? Huh? Haven't cut out the circulation, have I? Oh, no. They're fine. I used to steal things when I was a kid. That's what they're shooting me for. They're shooting me for the bread and gum I used to steal when I was 12 years old. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou, woman, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for sinners, now the hour of our death. Amen. Okay, Francine, let's go through this again. You waited till Mickey fell asleep. Is that right? Right? Yes. And you took the kids out to the car, right? And you got the gasoline out of the garage, and you came back into the house, right? And you poured the gasoline around the bed, and then you lit a match and ran to the car, right? Right? Yes. OK, the kids were in the car, and they were scared and crying, and you started driving away. Francine, what were you doing? Where were you going? I ran for my life. I ran for the life of my kids. Francine, did you premeditate and plan the death of your husband, Mickey Hughes? No. As you see, all of them are very special. So let's everybody stay where they are. All right, class. Chapter 5 is entitled The Origins of Flight. I need a vacation. This summer, you need the airline with low fares to more places. The biggest bargain airline in the land, United. I've got a vacation. And so, following the turmoil of the 30s, the 80s, I'm not just flying. I'm flying the vacation in the friendly skies. J.C. Penney celebrates American style with some old-fashioned values, like these Victoria sheets and matching comforters. Show your colors with the J.C. Penney towel, just $5.99. Get a square deal on these all-cotton slacks and men's classic sports shirts. Save on a rainbow of rompers for little girls and Miss USA dresses for not-so-little girls. Come celebrate American style and value at J.C. Penney now. We got American style. It's Reese's Up Soft with milk and cream. It's got the taste of soft ice cream. New soft swirl. 
soft ice cream machine. Introducing Soft Swirl Freezer Soft Dessert. Ooh. Made with fresh milk and cream for the great taste of soft ice cream. Ah, it's wholesome good with milk and cream. The taste is great, like soft ice cream. Do Soft Swirl. It's like a soft ice cream machine. And it's yummy Sundays. Hamburger places think it's a snap to make chicken nuggets. But when it comes to doing chicken right, they're just going around in circles. At Kentucky Fried Chicken, making great tasting chicken is all we do. Our nuggets are made with our secret blend of 11 herbs and spices, and they taste great. So for nuggets done right, come to the chicken experts. Anyone else is just along for the ride. Kentucky Fried Chicken, we do chicken right. Coming up, Barbara Eden, the author, and Nell Carter. Then, Golden Moments with Jack Parr. On Fast Copy, meet the real Phil Collins. Oh, that way. Millionaire Ted Turner. And see why. Casual sex is basically over. Sunday. This is a 13 News Track. Brought to you by Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Northern Ohio. Good evening, I'm Jerry Anderson. Tonight on our news update, the death toll is up, heads are rolling, and we've got some home movies of the Chernobyl nuclear accident. Should the military enter Toledo schools in the form of the junior ROTC, parents are divided, as we'll explain in an update report. And we'll show you a local ice cream store which boasts of serving up 25 billion flavors. Now this. Today, the healthcare insurance industry is changing rapidly, but remember, no one is better prepared to help you understand these changes than the people at Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Northern Ohio. Stay with us tonight. Stolen bases, pennant braces, stand right up and cheer. Now you're talking baseball. Now you're talking beer. Now you're talking good times. And Stroh's is smoking here. Stroh's, fire brewed for smooth, consistent taste. Now you're talking Stroh's. Now you're talking beer. Now you're talking good times. It's... Some days you love them and others? Well, this was a good day, so I took them to Wendy's for their favorite treat. And with the special price, I got a treat, too. The special treat? Wendy's Kids Meal, now only 99 cents. A kid's hamburger, golden fries, and a choice of delicious frosty or soft drink, all in a special box with a prize, and now only 99 cents. Stop by a participating Wendy's for a coupon to save $3 on Cedar Point Fun Day admission. Get into Cedar Point for $3 less, then get on Thunder Canyon. Diane Larson, tomorrow on 13 News at noon. Almost from the beginning, television relied on the comedy family series as the backbone of its weekly schedule. The first shows came to television from radio. The Goldbergs, and you made a very important decision tonight, I understand. So I, I'd like to talk to you man to man. Blondie. 15,692 rugs for only um, $710. Well, uh, 15,692 at $710 equals... <laughs> that equals uh, uh, $22.10 and one seven cents a piece. Thank you, dear. And of course, the Aldrich family. Henry! Henry Aldrich! Coming, Mother. Father Knows Best was also an NBC radio series in 1949, before it came to television. <laughs> we have no eggs for breakfast. No eggs? We don't have any toast, either. No toast? I didn't realize when I got down to get breakfast that we had no bread or eggs. I'm sorry. Give me the front part of that paper, will you, bud? Aren't you sore? Sore about what? Well, but no eggs or toast for breakfast. What do you want me to do? Throw myself on the floor, kick my heels, and scream? Well, the average man would at least grumble a little. Okay. Grumble, grumble, grumble. Are you happy? Father, stop. Mr. Peepers was a shy science teacher whose every good move seemed to backfire. Oh, dear. Oh, I'll get the rope down over here. Well, what are you going to do with that? I'll just... Climb up and get the ball. Well, then you better be careful. It looks awfully high up there. Oh, Mr. Peepers, be careful. It's slippery. <gasps> Why don't you just forget all about it? Leave the ball up there. Come down. Mr. Peepers, your foot, your foot's slipping. <laughs> hey, 
Hazel the housekeeper was based on a cartoon character from the Saturday Evening Post. Played by Shirley Booth, she almost always had the last word in her encounters with her boss. Hazel, Hazel, please, I'm trying to work. Oh, I'm sorry, Mr. B. Hey, wasn't that a rip snorter of a sermon this morning? Yes, uh, let's not discuss it now, though. You should have been sitting where I was. Boy, would you have been mad. The fella in front of me kept dozing off. Well, there's nothing much you can do about that. Oh, the heck there was, and every time he'd nod, I'd flick him one on the ear. <laughs> in Bachelor Father, John Forsythe played a successful lawyer whose young niece came to live with him after her parents' death. In this prophetic scene, a friend of his niece is played by a very young Linda Evans. Friendly Gray. Well, you're Dad's mouthpiece, aren't you? I'm his attorney. <laughs> you're cute. There's one word that I dislike more than mouthpiece. It's cute. You're really putting me in my place today, aren't you, Uncle Benton? Well, I still think you're cute, but it's the last time you'll hear me say it. Good. Car 54, Where Are You? was a comedy police series. There's a traffic jam in Harlem that's backed up to Jackson Heights. And My Mother the Car starred Ann Southern as the reincarnation of Jerry Van Dyke's Sorry, mother. Now, we only heard her voice. Well, I thought I had a tiger in my tank. <laughs> you remember the one about an astronaut who found an old bottle on a desert island? <laughs> and guess who popped out? Oh, sometimes I still dream of Jeannie. Oh. I must have gone further into orbit than I thought. Flipper was everyone's favorite dolphin. They call him Flipper, Flipper, faster than lightning. We love the spoof on governmental spying agencies. Get smart. 86, your mission is simple. Find chaos and destroy it. Get Mr. Big, rescue Professor Dante, and bring back the Enthermo. This may run into a little overtime, Chief. <laughs> Thanks, you realize you'll be facing every kind of danger imaginable. And loving it. <laughs> yes. Here the Monkees was a comedy series which attempted to take advantage of new film techniques and humor based on non sequiturs and one liners, all served up with music of the period. Welcome to it was loosely based on the works of James Thurber. New York Magazine called the Manhattanite. I lived here in this overripe house in Connecticut with my wife, who's a very wonderful woman if you have the stamina to get to know her. I don't. Home, sweet home. Chico and the man partnered two radically different men. One young, one old enough to be his grandfather, and from wildly different backgrounds. Amigo. Don't call me amigo. It means friend. I don't care what it means. Talk English. Very well, friend. I would like to be the first Chicano to be associated with this floundering enterprise. <laughs> In this neighborhood, you're a minority. And I'm an equal opportunity employee. <laughs> we make a terrific team. What, are you out to lunch? You're just going to let this happen to me? Sanford and Son was another series about a young man and an older one. In this case, father and son in the junk business. When I was a kid, was seven of us in the family. Seven. We slept in the same room, same bed, same underwear. That's cool. Do you know them shoes they had called kids? I wore mine until they said, Dang it, the door is rough. Oh, look at poor mommy. Let me help you. Love, Sydney gave us Tony Randall in one of those wonderfully fussy roles of his that we had all come to love. Ray. Ah. Why so many groceries? You wanted an old-fashioned turkey dinner? This is what it takes. But I wanted it on Thanksgiving when you gave us pizza. 
And then there are the Cosbys. I was hoping that this would be the beginning of a discussion. What are we discussing? All right. Let's say that one of you uh, became pregnant. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, no, I'm, I'm serious. I'm hey, serious. I know it's not me. <laughs> Say it's you. <laughs> Me? Let's say that you are pregnant. Okay? Now, what are you going to do? Well, first, I want to find out who did it. NBC is proud today of its current family comedy series. Hi. From Jeannie and her bottle to father knowing best. Cheers to Punky Brewster, family ties and all the rest. Each week they've entertained us, proving life is just a game. Now each situation differed, but the spirit was the same. Like a giant tree branching out towards the sky. We are a family, and we're so much more than just you and I. We are a family, like a giant tree, growing stronger, growing wiser, and we. Your new show. Not only do I love your show, child, I love your singing. Get out of here. <laughs> it's more than you, and it's more than me. Whatever dreams we have, they're for the family. We're not alone anymore, because there are others there. Don't you know that this dream for all of us to share. So don't think we're going. We're not going anywhere. We're staying. We know that you care. And whenever you need us, we'll be there. This is the home of the world-famous Clydesdales, a symbol of Budweiser's long tradition of quality, the finest ingredients, beechwood aging, and a special touch of care and pride. No other brewer has such a tradition of quality to live up to, but then no other brewer makes the king of beers. After all, this Bud's for you. Know just where to go. Oh, hurry up, Mom. Why are you so slow? There's more for your life at sea. 
Unfortunately, the car has four tires we don't need anymore. Oh no, now what she's stopping for? There's more for your life at Sears. Here is a brand new phone that's calling you. Hey mom, what about me? Levi's looks and Arnie Gula Kong. Now who is she? Weren't we gonna shop for me? Come celebrate Sears' 100th anniversary. See all the ways we've changed and all the ways we haven't. Mark my mind and Sears. The ups and downs of the stock market can create its share of headaches. Take Pat Ryan. I have a throbbing sensation, which I characterize as a desperate headache. I would like to have some aspirin now. What he took was extra-strength Tylenol caplets. Last year, hospitals dispensed Tylenol 10 times more than the next four brands combined. I feel superb, and my headache is gone. And that's a nice feeling to have. If Tylenol worked for Pat Ryan, and it's the pain reliever hospitals use most, shouldn't you use Tylenol, too? Tuesday on an all-new Hunter, Dee Dee hits the streets to bag a lady killer. Definitely have a psycho on her hands. And a desperate reporter holds the key. Doesn't sound like a screwball to me. Then on an all-new Stingray, in the dead of night, women are dying. <laughs> and Stingray's crusading to catch the killer. You just bought it. Tuesday. Just four months ago, Super Bowl XX was played before the largest total audience for any television show of any kind ever. 127 million fans marveled as William Refrigerator Perry helped Chicago to a lopsided 46-10 win. That one registered 3.8. Aside from the daily and nightly news programs, the News Digest, and the other regular programs which keep us all informed, NBC over the years has presented a number of programs of in-depth analysis on subjects that warranted extra attention. One remembers the Kennedy-Nixon debates in 1960. Two candidates for the presidency. The candidates need no introduction. The Republican candidate, Vice President Richard M. Nixon, and the Democratic candidate, Senator John F. Kennedy. Who could ever forget an NBC News program called The Tunnel? This was the tunnel when it was finished. And this was how it began. In April 1962, three West Berlin University students toured the wall between East and West Berlin. The American Revolution of 1963. There comes a time, there even comes a moment in the affairs of men when they sense that their lives are being altered forever. That an old order is dying and a new one is being born. Behind me is the 16th Street Baptist Church, the main staging area for the demonstrations. On Good Friday, I had watched Dr. King lead a small anti-segregation march through this park. Police Commissioner Eugene Bull Connor ordered his arrest. These two men played principal roles in the drama of Birmingham. Frank McGee helped take all of us to the moon for the first time. Tonight, American science, technology, and the men of Apollo 11 stand on the threshold. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. We were all personally deeply affected in 1978 by the Jonestown tragedy. NBC News correspondent Don Harris and cameraman Bob Brown were among those killed at the airport. The next decade brought us the Abscam scandal in 1980. NBC's Brian Ross broke that story. These pictures are made by NBC News with a special night lens. Sources say that more than 100 FBI agents today confronted the targets of Operation Abscam. In 1981, the hostages were released. Nineteen eighty-two found John Chancellor in Beirut. There, but the real Palestinian problem is to be found in places like this. There are a lot of them, but this one is typical. It's the Rashadia Palestinian refugee camp in southern Lebanon. In 1983, I was in China. This is not the China of postcards and presidential <laughs> tours. This is an intimate portrait of the Chinese people as they adapt to another wave of political and economic change, while at the same time preserving the traditions that have made them unique for more than 4,000 years. 
and 84 exposed the world to the immensity of the tragedy in Africa and Ethiopia. Tens of thousands of sick and starving people are now being cared for, but hundreds more arrive to register every day. Recently, we aired AIDS Fear, AIDS Fact. You know, I had a real good friend that went home uh, to tell his family that he had AIDS. And they were a very religious family. And um, they kicked him out. They, says they didn't want to have him around. They didn't, you know, he was, they had no longer had a son. And uh, he came home. and committed suicide. In the 60 years since NBC became the first network, we have presented you with sometimes more than you may have wanted to know about this world that we share. But together, we share our responsibility of being informed, of trying to change what is bad for the better. I'm proud to be part of NBC News and to share in this celebration. From the time you leave nursery school and say goodbye to friends and head off to kindergarten to say hello to a new bunch, it's all hellos and goodbyes and a little time in between. You grow up and say goodbye to your parents and leave home to marry the girl you said hello to at the school dance one night. You say goodbye to the old house and hello to the new one. You say hello there to the new baby and before you know it, 20 years have passed and you find yourself saying goodbye to the new young bridegroom as he leaves your home. Well, NBC has had its share of hellos and goodbyes over the years, and I don't just mean shows that had high hopes but didn't quite make it. Do you remember, for instance, the very first little house on the prairie? It was kind of like we were all holding our breath, and then one day our little house was there. Can we go in now? Not just yet. Charles! <laughs> Today's special. Can you believe that it was almost 10 years between that hello and this goodbye? We bury a friend today. This town has been our friend. It's made us a family. Do you remember that Today Show from Boston? when uh, Barbara Walters got a little teary about saying goodbye and going on to the next. Childhood. I love you all. I will miss you all. This is Barbara Walters on the Today Show in Massachusetts. Some of the hellos were particularly exciting because we were saying hello to a wonderful new talent. I actually feel sorry for the wolf man. Now, here's a guy that can't remember when the moon's going to come up on him. <laughs> And he must be awfully embarrassing to his, his family. You know, he's sitting around a table eating it, and up comes the moon. Just the way you look tonight. Those of you who were the children of the very first television generation probably have a, a fond memory in your hearts for the very last Howdy Doody show. After 13 years of watching the always silent Clarabelle play his practical jokes and speak by squeaking his yes and no horns, there were tears in many eyes as Clarabelle quietly approached the camera. Let's hear you say something. Goodbye, kids. We watched and we were informed by the Huntley Brinkley report. We were also saddened on that last evening of July 1970 when Chet Huntley said goodbye. At the risk of sounding presumptuous, I would say to all of you, be patient and have courage, for there will be better and happier news one day if we work at it. And David, thanks for these years of happy association and for being such an easy colleague to work with and for all the kindnesses. I really don't want to say it, but the time has come, and so for the last time, good luck, and good night, Chet. Good luck, David. And good night for NBC News. And this is how I said goodbye to NBC. Goodbye. Good night. 
Come on, Lanka. We're going to go home. And so tonight here I am back at NBC and I want to say happy birthday, NBC. From now until May 19th, Volkswagen deals are so special, they're practically steals. Thousands of brand new 1986 Jettas, GTIs, Golfs, and Wolfsburg limited editions are there for the taking. But these Volkswagens are going fast, so hurry in. It all ends May 19th, and missing out would be a crime. Volkswagen steal of a deal, now through May 19th. Today, which pain relief product are you choosing for your family? Make an intelligent choice. Anison. The Anison formula contains aspirin, the pain relieving medicine doctors recommend most. Anison is an intelligent choice. Doctor recommended Anison. Now you can relieve inflamed hemorrhoidal tissue with the oxygen action of Preparation H. It accelerates absorption of pure oxygen to help shrink swelling of inflamed hemorrhoidal tissue as it often relieves pain and itch for hours. Preparation H with oxygen action. You know, this is kind of a special year. Do you know what year this is? I just found out. This is the 60th anniversary of NBC. That's right. That's right. And that is a long 1926, 1986, from Babe Ruth to Dr. Ruth. <laughs> oh, hi. I want to tell you I enjoyed the tour this morning. Thanks. Oh, you're welcome. Listen, your friend was asking so many questions about Johnny Carson this morning. He just went in right into the studio. Hurry up, but be quiet. The show's on. Thanks. <laughs> Loyalty like that, but they did. Swiftly as you 